Then people ask, how do you know? How do you know that's magnetic force? It's not the gravity. Let's let's first this uh, let's let, let me give you an example. If you consider the Earth interact with the sun is a magnetic interaction. Okay. So now let's consider uh the uh Pluto, the ninth planet uh in, in the solar system. Uh you know, somebody wanna demote them and say, hey, that this is a dwarf planet. No, I, I don't I don't agree. But anyway, let's compare Earth rotating with the sun will compare with the Pluto orbited the sun. You know the size of Pluto is a point zero or point two or point zero two percent of Earth's gravity. So point two percent of Earth's gravity. Pluto, Pluto is way 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 smaller than the Earth, right? The mass is so small, the size. So I'm talking about the mass is a point two percent of Earth, and the size of a Pluto smaller than our Moon. Yeah. Now, the, the distance between Earth to Sun versus the Pluto to the distant Sun is a 40 times difference. So that means from Earth to the Sun distance is we call the wind unit. It's called wind astro astronomical unit, wind unit. The Pluto is 40 times, is a 40 AU, 40 units from it. So you see, Pluto's uh, mass is so small and the size is so small and the distance is 40 times further than the sun compared with the Earth. If you think about it, based on the gravity, based on the mass, Pluto almost have no mass force, cannot generate enough, enough gravity force orbit the sun just like Earth do. Oh. Is that why they try to get us to forget about Pluto? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not the reason. If that's not that's the reason, then we we should bring bring Pluto back to the planet too. 